Now on this YouTube journey, I know absolutely nothing about cameras. All I've done so far is use my phone. Just turn my phone around. I bought this microphone because I'm not very tech savvy. I don't want to uh, have to rely on charging microphones. So I just plug it in and hope it works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, I figure as my life's getting busier, I want to be able to film more content. I quite enjoy filming videos. And uh, the small time that I have, I want to be able to do it on the fly now. With my phone, it's hard sometimes. Sometimes the kids are on it. Uh, sometimes I forget and I leave it in the car. Sometimes I leave it at work. It's an old age thing. When you get a white beard, you're allowed a few free passes to, uh, to forget things. It's what happens. But uh, I thought I better start taking things a bit more serious. I could still film on my phone forever. I know that, but for some reason, I feel like when you make a commitment, a financial commitment or a commitment to an item, it's a signal in your brain somehow that you're going all in. And I feel like I'm gonna do this. So about a week or so ago, I bought a camera. Um, I've only just set it up and I figure, why not make it a video about a camera that I'm gonna use for videos? So here we go. Now, this is not the final camera I've bought, but this is a camera that I've had, the GoPro. Uh, the GoPro 10, I've tried to use it a couple of times. Every time I use it, it overheats. And I go to look at the footage and the footage isn't there because it's turned itself off from overheating. I don't know if it's a me issue, uh, but a quick Google search has shown me that it might be a lot of other people having the same issue. So I feel like it's not intended to be used for what I want to use it for, which is uh, you know, just setting it up in the corner for a couple of hours and letting it film, but it's not going to be able to do that because it just keeps overheating. Um, because we also have a car detailing business, boutique detailing business, which we film, we use it for, but this does not work. Um, and I had been using my phone for that as well. And my phone is just so full of videos. I'm just losing track. So I think the GoPro is going to go. I might give it to the kids or I don't know, use it in the car. Maybe if I was, so I can, uh, I don't know, I probably won't use it again, to be honest. Sorry, GoPro, but uh, you are not fit for purpose for what I need you to be. Now, the one that I've decided to go with is this one, Sony. Now, I know nothing, absolutely nothing about cameras, so you can roast me all you like. I truly know nothing, absolutely nothing. But it is a digital camera, ZV-1F. Whatever the ZV-1F means, probably just a model number, I'm guessing. Um, and I bought it from JB Hi-Fi. It does say 790, no, it says 999 on the tag. Uh, I thought it said 799, but I ended up getting it for a 620, I believe. Um, I had a discount plus another discount and found another price online and they matched it. And I think I got it down to, it was 629, I believe. Um, and for that price point, I feel like it was enough. I don't need thousand dollar cameras. I just need something that's going to force me to commit. Now on top of the camera, also got a bonus. I figure the most important thing when you're doing videos is audio. I feel like audio, as long as it's crisp, clear audio, then, um, the video doesn't have to be a Greg's. I'm not a filmmaker. Um, so I ended up getting this shotgun mic. It says 249. But they had another deal going where you get the shotgun mic for 99 bucks as well. I'm sure there's cheaper, better options. Yep, possibly. But I just didn't want to bother. So I just bought what was available at the time and that was it. Now, if I had half a brain, I would have seen that it already came with a microphone. So I probably didn't need to do that. But it was 99 bucks, so I don't know. It's just what I did. And lo and behold, here's the camera and the big fluffy microphone on top. Something tells me about that microphone that it might actually be pretty good. I hope so, because it looks rather outlandish. And um, this is the camera. Uh, let me set it up here. Can I turn it on? Why not have a battery? Hello? Is it flat? It might be flat. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I gotta charge it, because I've never used it. But I haven't got a SIM card, I gotta get a SIM card for it today. But the feature that I like the most is that feature. I guess a lot of cameras have it now, but a feature where I can film and actually see where I'm filming at the same time. Does that go the whole way around? 
Doesn't look super flat, does it? But I'm sure it'll be fit for purpose and tick all the boxes that I need it to tick. Again, I'm not a filmmaker. I'm not a photographer. The closest I've gone to filmmaking and photography is using my iPhone, just turning it around and pushing record because that's all I've done. And uh, so I'm hoping I can just do the same thing. Just set this up in the corner, press record and um, film myself doing what I need to do. Um, so yeah, there you go. The Sony ZF, ZV, sorry, 1F. And uh, I should start using it from here on. Um, if I'm going to be really committed and do something with this channel, this is what I'll be using. So uh, feel free to reach out and tell me if it's a dumb purchase or not in the comments. Uh, if you do want one, I'll put a link in the description to the Amazon store. It's a great way to support the channel as well. You can click that link and grab one. But there you go, the uh, Sony ZF, ZV, I must have said ZF 400 times. Sony digital camera ZV1F. Go get your one.